Hey guys, welcome back to a quick review here to do a, an impressions on Save Room Organization Puzzle. I believe that's the full name of the game. I'll, I'll be just referring to Save Room. Uh, but it's a game that's really uh, paying homage and really dedicated to Resident Evil fans out there. Uh, I guess specifically to fans of the Resident Evil 4 game uh, because the game takes influence on the in inventory system um, that um, was part of Resident Evil 4 and that just kind of gives you yeah, it gives you a perspective on how, how influential that game was for the industry ever since it was released in uh, 2004. Um, you know, obviously it uh, influenced a lot of modern third-person shooter games uh, with, you know, the solid gunplay and gameplay that really, uh, you know, uh, characterizes Resident Evil 4. But uh, as you can see here, um, you know, the influence went all the way to the point that uh, there's a dedicated in the game to the inventory system of Resident Evil 4, which is, you know, this game in question, Save Room, which was developed by a small indie, um, you know, studio called Fractal Projects, and it was released in 2022, you know, this year. And uh, yeah, I had to get this game as a huge Resident Evil fan. I had to, you know, try it out. It's a very cheap game. I believe the MSRP is uh, $3, and then obviously when it goes on sale, you can get it for under, you know, three dollars, which is uh, a very appropriate uh, price point considering the game is fairly short. Um, it shouldn't take you more than three, uh, three hours to complete the game. Um, it, the game has forty puzzles um, that really, um, that really, you know, relate to the. Um, uh, I guess organizing your your inventory system and making sure that everything fits in your quote unquote suit, suitcase, kind of like in Resident Evil 4. I first played this game on the Steam Deck, and um, the game is not fully compatible or it's not verified, uh, but the game works uh, pretty well. Um, I played this a few months ago on the Steam Deck, and then um, after the Steam Deck got an update, um, the game was broken, like it didn't work for a while, but now it's back to working. Uh, at any rate, I started playing it on the Steam Deck, and then I moved on and installed it on my PC. Just you know, it was more convenient for me to uh, play this with 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 the mouse and just kind of chilling um, at my uh, office uh, desk here. Uh, but it does work with the uh, Steam Deck. The only negative, I think, and I don't know if they fixed this, but uh, there were no cloud saves available. So if you're looking to maybe you know play on the Steam Deck and then resume your your gameplay on the PC, I don't believe. The cloud saves work so just a heads up um, you know, that you you either have to play it fully on the Steam Deck or um, fully on your on your PC uh, to fully you know uh, I guess beat the game um, the game has a lot of uh, interesting um, I guess techniques and gameplay features that uh, as you advance through the levels you need to apply them such as for example uh, you have a health bar just like in the Risen Evil games and then in the later le levels you know your your health goes down and therefore you, you, you consume health items um, and when you consume the health items obviously you have more room to put your items in the inventory um, so sometimes you have to be a little bit creative for example uh, an egg only occupies one little square whereas a combined herb uh, you can combine a herb and then um, gain more room in your in your in your final puzzle so there's a lot of techniques that you have to employ in order to get past you know the advanced levels um, you know such as reloading weapons I think one of the criteria to advance to uh, to the next level is your your weapons have to be uh, have has they have to have ammo uh, in them um, and there's a lot of you know little touches here and there that are suited for Resident Evil fans such as you're able to uh, examine the items, for example. Uh, they give you a description, which is kind of useful because um, it tells you, for example, if you're ex examining a weapon, what type of ammo it, it takes and so forth. Um, you can combine herbs, obviously, just like in the Resident Evil games. You know, the red uh, with green, for example, or two greens and so forth. Um, you can consume items, as I mentioned before. You can rotate items, obviously, to uh, make, make them fit better. And you, you will be doing all, all of this because most of the levels or the vast majority of the levels really you have to figure out the, the most uh, uh, optimized uh, configuration in order to advance to the next level. So yeah, it's a fun game that personally I would only recommend it to Resident Evil fans um, just because of all the touches going from the graphics, you know, just the uh, typical inventory system for Resident Evil games with the little squares and everything like that. The weapons, you know, the the actual, you know, 
uh, graphics in the game. The actual animations, the actual sound effects are, you know, very and very similar to the actual Resident Evil game. Um, you know, I'm surprised Capcom will. Uh, it's not filing like some sort of copyright, uh, copyright thing because the, uh, the everything from the sound effects uh, to even the music. The music has a very soothing uh, piano uh, music, which is typical of the um, safe uh, safe nature of the save rooms in the Resident Evil games. And the game is trying to convey that it's not necessarily a horror or spooky game. Uh, but I did decide to play this during mo the month of October for Halloween month. To kind of pay homage to the Resident Evil series, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil games. So, yeah, the, the game is—it's just that it's just—it's a puzzle organizational uh, game that will test your abilities to consume items, combine items uh, appropriately, uh, create different types of ammo, and just be uh, being creative with the the way you set up your weapons and and so forth. And it was a fun game again. Uh, it's not going to take you more than two or three hours to beat the game, but for the price point, I think it's very well, uh, uh, it w w w well worth a try. Uh, specifically, if you're a Resident Evil fan, if you're not a Resident Evil fan, I don't think there's uh, a whole lot to uh, to do or explore in this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, if, if you guys are a Re Resident Evil fan, make sure you try this game out considering it's a very cheap um, game. So with that being said, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Take it easy.